Hello everyone, this is Andrea Dembecki from Angel Fairy Healing and this is the Angel Energy Healing Series. Today we will be talking about loving your neighbor as yourself, which is a powerful um, spiritual lesson that I've been working on because I realize I, I love other people but I am a lifelong critic um, and I alienate myself from others through blame, criticism, and always feeling sometimes like people are out to take from me or get things from me, um, which isn't always true. And it was probably passed down in my family, a lack of trust, a disempowerment, um, an alienation from others. And lately I've been chanting that kind of spiritual mantra in my head, love thy neighbor as thyself and it's really helps me understand that everyone is an extension of me and i can have unconditional love in a way that i am not threatened that others can take anything from me take my other relationships take my money take my energy um, put me down ruin my life take my time um any ways where we are blaming others for taking our happiness or kind of alienating ourselves from others and the joy that we can receive from living in heart union with others um we're gonna kind of release and heal that now because i do feel that um we we need to open our hearts more to one another and live more in in that oneness and that co-creation if we want to get along with our families with our friends with our community if we want to bring peace to earth we have to be willing to step into that beautiful heart energy and really get over this blame game and immaturity that we have as humans and i know in our culture i was raised that way and um, we were all you know fighting in our family and alienated from each other and mad at each other and so i really want to bring more love into my life in my relationships more peace let's less blame and ultimately that's bringing in more nourishment for me because I'm changing my point of focus. If my point of focus is blaming or criticizing others, I'm not focused on happiness. I'm not focusing on the gift that that person is or that the gift that each moment is to me that I can be enjoying my life in that moment. Um, but we get in these thought loops, loops and these mental patterns of criticism, of hatred, of blame and, and drama. And so I really wanted to do some energy healing on releasing this within our lives and releasing the energy of those core relationships to bring in more maturity, more honesty, more trust and harmony within our relationships. Um, that doesn't mean that you have to be in negative or abusive relationships. The angels are also saying this comes with an intuitive knowing within our relationships, um, a knowing of when to, you know, let relationships go, um, who, who is good for us, who isn't, and really bringing in that kindred, soul, family, oneness, and understanding each other on a soul level and understanding the actions that we need to take. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't stand up for yourself or even cut people out of your life because I know I have, but I also know that on a low level, the people that I do get along with in my life still seem to cause me mental stress because I have these patterns of not trusting them or blaming them for things or criticizing them and as I heal that I'm able to enjoy my life even more. So we're going to bring in some beautiful angel energy healing for um, loving others as ourself, bringing unconditional love, patience, acceptance in our relationships, releasing judgment and bringing in the energy of being able to enjoy one another and be nourished by our lives, bringing in the energy of true intimacy, true oneness, true, true co-creation, co-commitment into our lives, bringing in that beautiful energy now and blessing everyone's relationships. Now we're doing a beautiful energy healing on relationships and chanting that mantra has really helped me, loving thy neighbor as thyself. Every time I feel like somebody's taking my time or somebody's a burden or somebody always needs help and um, I, I say that and it really helps me to shift my point of focus to the gratitude of all the things that I receive from others and all the things that I can give and that I am one with the universe. Most of all, we want to be one with the universe, one with the harmony of the universe and flowing with one another in harmony. 
So bringing in that beautiful energy, and if you're, is there anyone that you're really at odds with in your life or that you need to forgive? We're going to bring in that energy of unconditional compassion and love, loving thy neighbor as ourself, and bringing in the maturity and grace to speak up if we need to, to um, cut ties if we need to, but also to evolve our relationships to a point of peace. Um, beautiful peace. Um, I know I didn't grow up with that, so it's something that I would like to evolve towards, something that I'm going to teach myself, how to live with peace within my relationships. So also we're going to do some heart attunements to relationships. Maybe your heart's been hurt or broken by others or you've been betrayed or something broke your trust with others. We're going to heal that. The angels say that's very important because not everybody's like them. Whether it's your family or the friends that hurt you or the people that betrayed you, it's important for you to trust your true intuition and not make projections on people. Um, I know I do that. I want to release any energy of that where we project relationships of our parents or pa or the past on the future, on things in the present that aren't necessarily true. So we're going to release that energy now so that we can <coughs> enjoy our beautiful relationships in the present moment. Um, the angels are bringing in lots of flowers and helping us to kind of sing with one another, help our souls be in communion and harmony and help us truly enjoy our life, bringing in relationship peace on earth. So thank you for listening to this angel energy healing video on harmony within our relationships and loving thy neighbor as thyself. This is Andrea Dumbecki from angelfairyhealing.com.